evening, Moon Princess here, and tonight we're going to talk about the brutal murder of a young child of four years old. So, to start out here, give a quick disclaimer. This is pretty, pretty, pretty brutal. It's pretty disturbing. Um, it can be hard to listen to, hard to hear. So, if this is too upsetting for you, please watch another video. This is very, very dark, okay? This is a very sensitive case. Has been a minor getting harmed, okay? Very dark. So if you're light with the true crime, just watch another video, okay? And before we begin discussing the case, I would like to leave a moment here for us to just open space for this little girl's death and send good vibes to her, if you so choose, okay? Just making that space and with the intention of honoring her loss before we tell this story, okay? Then let's get started. All right, so this is the case of Annie Bor Borisova four-year-old little girl. Her mother was Dimitrina Borisova. Her mother was uh, 25 years old, and her father, Stanis Stanislav Bakarjev, was 27. Sorry, I have a hard time pronouncing some of the names. Her parents struggled with substance use, um, and her mother was involved in sex work. Um, so, April 21st, she was reported missing in Bulgaria. They believe she was killed two weeks prior and her remains discarded in trash bins throughout Athens. A nationwide search for Annie was prompted by her disappearance. She was murdered, they believe, by her father, Stanislav Pekarchev, who at the very least disposed of her remains chopped her up, processed, boiled, um, disposing of her in trash bins. She was miss reported missing by her grandmother, a Bulgarian national. She had first said that Annie had been kidnapped by someone she knew. Her father was interviewed at the time of the report to release him due to insufficient evidence to hold him, though evidence later found did link him to his daughter's murder and he was arrested. Police had Br Brigadier Christos Papa Zerifiris, when speaking to press, expressed no possibility any bone belonging to Annie would be found due to the particularly heinous nature of her father's crimes, having reduced his daughter to a pulp as a means of disposing of her remains. Like I said, this is really disturbing. Um, crime is considered unmatched in Greek and global police history. Her murder is believed to have occurred roughly between April 8th and 10th, close to Orthodox Easter in 2015. Um, and the article I found is from May of 2015. Um, her belongings were quickly sold off to a Romanian man for 55 euros. This includes her crib, pushchair, and toys. So the motive, authorities say, was jealous that her mother, Bulgarian 25, was seeing a man in Germany and was afraid of being abandoned. So you destroy your child. Initially, the father told police he found her already deceased on Orthodox Good Friday and disposed of her remains. Basically, he admitted to discarding her, but not the murder, which I find strange. Um, so the, char the father was charged with making a false statement. Murder was described as being committed in a calm state of mind, disrespectful th to the dad. Some sources say the mother was accused of exposing her daughter to danger, leading to her death and for providing false evidence. So a witness, Nikolay Nazif Amidov, was supposed to testify in court but did not show. He ends up being charged and convicted of murder as well. Father had refuted the testimony of his friend before the Greek authorities. 
to Nick Calais' allegations that Annie had been in a locked room. Stanislav had replied that this was not true, but even if the room was locked, the bathroom key could unlock the door, he said. Uh, so Stanislav, his mother, is Ophelia. Um, um, so Stanislav remained firm behind his original assertion that the mother, Dmitrina Borisova, was not aware of the child's death. Investigator had received an anonymous letter alleging that Annie might not have been killed but sold to an organ trafficking network or pedophiles, according to the defender. It is nothing more than an attempt to cause a fuss about the case that is terrifying anyway. An example of such an action is an appearance is the appearance of the bogus psychologist. There has already been an investigation into the assumptions described in the letter, but I cannot give more details about it. Was the reaction of Panagiotis? Sorry, the names are all Greek, I think, or Bulgarian. Uh, Chrysakis. So amid the trial, father was detained in solitary confinement at a prison on Corfu. 70-year-old man charged with giving a false statement was the owner of the basement flat they were living in. Claims that the 25-year-old mother had given the child to a friend. That's what he told me about the child. So that's what I said, he said, referring to the child's father. Stanislav, oven goes by Savas, and um, roommate Nazif Amadov, 30, were both convicted for murdering Ani. Stanislav openly admitted in court to dismembering his daughter, but continued to assert he did not kill her, but goes to blame Nazif. The man dismembered her and disposed of her body. Both received life sentences. Dimitrina received a six-year jail sentence. Found guilty of child endangerment, was acquitted of perjury charges, though. Owner of the basement flat Annie died in was convicted of perjury. So coroner in court testified to dismemberment occurring post-mortem, not before, saying she may have died after she ingested heroin. So not she was not awake for the mutilation, which is good at the very least. Dmitrina Borisova, some sources say she was a sex worker and a substance user um, who was addicted to heroin. And authorities found blood samples matching Ani. False statements made by the basement owner and mother about how Ani was left with a friend while Dimitrina was in Bulgaria and that she went missing in downtown Athens. Mother, when queried, did not remember who this friend was. D.D. Borisova. Um, her mother's name is also D.D. So anyways, um, a kitchen knife was used to cut up the body her body, um, her, then the pieces were boiled and then put in dumpsters. Nothing was recovered. Um, the knife and the genetic material from the victim, which was, I believe, blood, was located. Um, the father shows no remorse for these horrible things. And he continues to deny any involvement in the murder itself, but only goes on to accept that his later actions, dismemberment, and disposal of her body were his. He did not confess to killing his daughter, but claims he found her dead in, in bed, um, saying that he disposed of her remains because he did not want to tell her mother what happened to her. This is according to Greek news sources. Um, he also was very jealous of the woman's attention to her child, which is just absolutely batshit crazy. Um, so Yanis Panosis, the public order minister and a criminologist, described the crime as extreme non-human behavior. I agree. Were, uh, traces of blood on knives and pipes in the home. Down, her father had actually purchased new furniture, cleaning material, and was having those bloody pipes replaced. So that's very strange. Um, just disturbing that level of non-emotion about his daughter. 
it's just horrible, and um, I hope she's in a better place. Part of me wonders if maybe she overdosed on heroin by accident, like somehow she ended up with a heroin in her system, because her parents are like, and maybe she was dead in the bed. I don't know. Um, it's just very strange to me. Either way, he is in essence responsible for her death, whether he killed her directly or not, because he was supposed to be taking care of her. Um, if you disagree with me, let me know your thoughts. That's that. Those are my thoughts. Um, I don't know what else to say about this. I'm glad that they put everybody in jail. I mean, this is horrible. Like, how can somebody do that to their child? I don't know. But, you know, I hope she's in a better place now and not in any pain. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I know this is a hard one to hear, but, um, I, I just found it online and I felt like it was important to share. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you got something out of this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Sweet dreams.